a new life, a new family, the beginning of a bright future. There's nothing quite as special as welcoming a new baby to a family and community. As quality healthcare providers, ensuring a healthy and prosperous start to the lives of our littlest patients is our primary goal. One way we do this is newborn screening. What is newborn screening? The newborn screening process involves collecting a blood sample, typically two to three drops from the heel of a newborn baby. The blood sample is obtained on the second or third day of life after protein-containing feedings have started and the postnatal TSH surge has subsided. Test results are typically reported in a matter of days. Some of the diseases and disorders that can be detected by screening are phenylketonuria, congenital hyperthyroidism, maple syrup urine disease, homocystinuria, sickle cell anemia, and cystic fibrosis. Newborn screening programs in the U.S. began with the work of Dr. Robert Guthrie, who in the 1960s developed a screening test for phenylketonuria also known as PKU. Recognizing the need for a simple system of testing, Dr. Guthrie also introduced a method for the collection and transportation of blood samples on filter paper, which is still used today. Only then did cost-effective wide-scale genetic screening become possible. Since then, there have been many developments in the science of newborn screening. As a result, Screening has expanded globally to many countries around the world. Gentle Heal, a heel incision device used in the newborn screening process. The design of our device was driven by feedback from nurses, phlebotomists, and lab techs. Gentle Heal is the most ergonomic and user-friendly device available. Our features include an ergonomic design for better handling, multiple visual indicators that reinforce the incision site that include a large arrow on both sides of the housing that point down to the incision site, a crosshatch line to mirror where the blade extends, and arrows on both sides of the housing that also point down to the incision site. Unlike heel puncture devices, Gentle Heal utilizes a sweeping incision. Gentle Heal has four sizes to cover any term baby. Toddler, newborn, preemie, and micro preemie. Our distinct color-coded packaging coincides with the color of each Gentle Heal device, which helps ensure that the correct device size is used. When preparing to collect a sample using the Gentle Heal device, refer to the shaded areas indicated on the image which represent the recommended incision sites. The incision must be on the plantar surface in an area marked by a line drawn from the middle of the great toe to the heel, or a line drawn from between the fourth and fifth toes to the heel, both lines to be parallel to the side of the foot. Once the incision site has been identified, in supine position, cleanse the incision site with antiseptic and allow to dry. Next, ensure that you have the correct size device. The size, color, and incision depth is printed on the back of the packaging. Remove the device from its packaging. Remove the trigger lock, being careful not to depress it or place anything in front of the opening at the base of the device. Place the entire base of the device against the cleansed incision site and with even pressure on the heel of the foot, press the trigger, then remove the device. The first drop of blood should be wiped away from the incision site with a dry sterile gauze pad. When a second drop of blood forms over the incision site, collect the sample with a capillary tube. Fill the blood collection container until the required volume is obtained. After a sample is collected from the infant's heel, the foot should be elevated above the body. Press a dry, sterile gauze pad against the incision site until the bleeding stops.
For more information or samples, please contact your local Cardinal representative or Lisa Rhodes.